Our next presentation is entitled The Conscription Prescription, the case that mandatory military service will benefit the nation. Please welcome Nick Perinella. Nearly 100 years ago, there was a Great Depression going on in this country. Millions of men worried about how this economic downfall was going to affect their country. On the radio, they heard that this Great Depression was not just affecting the whole nation, but the entire world. Not only that, but wars were being fought on distant lands. Nothing was certain. Then, on December 7, 1941, Pearl Harbor was bombed by the Japanese. America was at war. Suddenly, draft notices flooded the United States Postal Service. Millions of men worried about leaving their families behind to fight the Axis powers. Those men suffered greatly, struggling, fighting, dying, all because it was their duty. Then, the war ended. Those millions returned home. But the draft continued for the next 30 years, during an era, a golden era for America. That is, until President Richard Nixon abolished the draft, just to bolster his re-election chances. This country is facing a multitude of issues today. The US dollar is being replaced as a world currency. The economy is slipping, and inflation is nearing all-time high. Not only that, but politics has divided our nation beyond recognition. Although many argue against mandatory military service, I argue that it would benefit the country because of great skills those would learn in the workforce, it would help prevent and reduce loneliness. And the division that has racked our country will be lessened. For the individual, there are a multitude of lessons and skills that the military instills in a soldier that will help them become bountiful employees. According to Ashley Enneries, a writer for Northeastern University's bachelor's degree completion program, General life skills one would learn in the military include leadership, effective communication skills, inventive problem solving, and teamwork. That doesn't, that, not only that, but we will also learn technical skills one would learn handling expensive and often high-tech military equipment. There are also the physical skills one would learn during specialized job like cybersecurity or mechanic. These skills allow employers to know that they can trust veterans to carry out their tasks in a swift and effective manner. This will help promote this will help promote efficiency in the workplace, and this will bolster prices going up for their product and will result in a trickle-down effect for the workforce. For the entire nation, the camaraderie felt from service helps reduce the feelings of loneliness that have surged across this country. Harvard's Making Caring Common project has found that 61% of American youths experience feeling alone and isolated. A challenge would be beneficial to help people feel more together because a challenge helps bridge the isolation. A challenge is used beneficially because a challenge fosters feelings of loyalty between groups Feeling like you belong to a group or organization provides immense benefits to the psyche of the nation. America has seldom been more divided than it is today. This can be seen 
by a cursory glance at the news, social media, and political figures. A recent study in Australia, led by Brock Bastian from the University of New South Wales, has showed that 61 percent. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Brock Bastian has found that shared hardships foster a feeling of loyalty towards a group. This phenomena is the reason that professional athletes and the military see each other as family. If that feeling is multiplied to the national level, there will be a shift in the way people see their fellow citizens. This will not cause all conflicts to cease, but the animosity felt in this nation will begin to fade, and the country will begin to heal. With a polarizing topic such as this. Many would argue against mandatory military service because of the inevitability of a high number of draft deferments, leading to the effort being unjustifiable. I agree that many would be deferred, whether it be through medical, family, religious, or educational grounds. However, deferments have been a means to keep out those who would be liabilities. And are very beneficial to the productivity of a fighting force. Should someone not or be unwilling to complete their mandatory enlistment, they should be expected to serve the country in another way, through community service. Volunteering allows people to be deferred in a different way because it is less demanding nature. And it allows for those to focus on things that suit their own passions. Not only that, but community service has many of the same benefits as military service. Because we are citizens of this great country, we owe it to those who need a helping hand to reach out and help them up. Mandatory military service is not something to discuss lightly, especially if you are unwilling to practice what you preach. For those of you that don't know, I will be attending the United States Military Academy at West Point. I realize that most of you are past peak fighting age. <laughs> However, you are still able to show your support in your own special ways. I will be a part of the solution. Will you? Thank you.